It's the year 2018. SEO expert Jan Gilbert shakes up the small business world with a unique tool. A grid style ranking software capable of checking the ranking position of his client's Google listings on Google Maps results street by street. It's so game changing that it isn't long before others start copying it, helping thousands of businesses boost their rankings on Google Maps and pull in more customers. The main drawback? It only works on Google Maps. But hold on to your seats because today I'm going to reveal the first and only tool capable of tracking your business rankings on Apple Maps in real time. I'll take you through how to use it for your own business step by step and show you how it can help you keep an eye on your competitors. First, you might be thinking, why bother with Apple Maps when most people use Google Maps to search for local businesses, right? Well, that's not quite true. In 2014, Apple launched a cool feature called Apple Cars Play, which basically turns your car's dashboard into a big iPhone screen. And guess what map app they're using? Yep, Apple Maps. Now, this isn't just in a few cars. We're talking about over 80% of new cars in the US using this. And get this, there are around 1.36 billion iPhone users worldwide in 2023. All these iPhones come with Apple Maps as the default map app. Finally, last summer, Apple introduced something called Apple Business Connect. It's just like having a Google business profile, but for Apple Maps. But why is Apple putting so much effort into their maps? $11.1 billion. That's what Google is expected to reckon from its map products in 2023, according to Morgan Stanley. So obviously, Apple wants a big piece of that pie, and that's why they're pushing so hard for it. Mm. What does this mean for you? More people are gradually using Apple Maps to find local businesses. Being visible there is no longer just an option. It's a necessity for driving traffic and customers to your doorstep. If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Just like it's a big deal for your business listing to rank high on Google Maps, it's becoming just as important for your Apple listing to rank high on Apple Maps. And right now, there's only one tool that can help you do that. So what is this revolutionary tool and how does it work? Remember the story about Jan Gilbert, the brain behind the original multipoint local rank tracker? Jan initially spent hours manually tracking listings across different points on Google Maps. But he flipped the script by automating it all. And just like that, the game-changing grid tracking system was born. The thing is, Jan is an SEO wizard at heart. But I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an SEO guy. I wasn't a programmer. And although he created something mind-blowingly smart, he decided it was a bit too much to juggle and let it go. But then all the data recording and, and all that, that, that was like way too above my head. So that's why I had to... I sold it off because it wasn't my thing anymore. Instead, he focused on his real passion, helping small businesses being found in local search results. If you're thinking of reaching out to him to help your business rank in local search results, check out his website at jangelbert.com. Oh, and what about his creation? It's still around, rocking its original name, which you may already know, Local Falcon. The new owners have been busy bees, adding all sorts of cool updates and features since they bought it. And get this, the latest and greatest from Local Falcon is tracking business listings on Apple Maps. That's right, they're the only ones pulling this off right now. If you stick around, I'll show you how it all works. Click on the link in the description below and sign up for a free account and you'll get 100 credits to start with. No need to pay for anything or enter your credit card details. If you have a Google business profile, which I hope you do, you can add it to your Local Falcon account as you register. Once your account is good to go, hit that big great go run a scan button. Click on the choose a business drop down button and select the search option. Before you do anything else, click on the Apple icon from the pop-up window, then search for your business by name or address and click on it when it appears. Time to add the keywords you want to track for your listing on Apple Maps. Since we're playing with 100 credits, I'm just going to drop in only one keyword for this demo. Next up, pick the area you want to scan on Apple Maps. You might be tempted to set a huge radius on local Falcon, but be realistic. Most local business listings won't show up further than a few miles from where they are located. Now, select a search grid. This grid simulates how your listing ranks at various points on the map. It's like doing a virtual search to check how your listing ranks from street to street. The more grid points you select, the more granular the results are. 
each grid point costs a credit. So let's go with a 9x9 nine nine grid to keep it under 100. You can remove the grid points where you won't find customers, like the middle of a lake or a big empty field. When you're all set, hit the Run Scan button and watch the magic happen. In just a couple of minutes, you'll see where your business stands on Apple Maps for your keyword. To find out who you are competing against, click on any of the dots on the map. A pop-up will appear showing you a list of your main competitors within the grid you have set. The cool thing about this is you can now visually check in seconds and compare how well your business is doing on both Apple and Google Maps by putting the results side by side. It's super handy for spotting where you might need to improve things or give your marketing a boost. But just a heads up, not every business is on Apple Maps yet. Since Apple Maps is getting more popular, you'll want to make sure your business is listed on there and make the most of all the features they've recently rolled out. If you want to find out how, I'll take you through it in this next video.